friends, Laura Snow here with the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve um, with another story time and craft. Today we are going to read The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit by Susan Lowell, illustrated by Jim Harris. And we are going to be making some pipe cleaner tortoises. This is my first attempt. I think my second attempt is going to go a little bit better. You can see that they've got little legs, cute little eyeballs, kind of woven little tortoises. They're pretty easy. Um, and today, because we are reading about tortoises and doing a tortoise craft, we are joined with Tank and Tortellini here. Um, I went out and picked them some of their favorite treat, some trumpet vine flowers. So they'll just be munching away in the background while we read our book. The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit by Susan Lowell, illustrated by Jim Harris. One fine day, desert was full of springtime magic. Seeds sprouted, eggs hatched, cactus buds bloomed. <sighs> said Tortoise coming out of her burrow. I feel good. I feel fast. The jackrabbit turned one of his huge ears in her direction. Silly Tortoise, he laughed. You drag that heavy shell around wherever you go. As for me, I'm free, free, free. Zig, Jackrabbit leaped left. Zag, Jackrabbit sprang right. I'm the fastest runner in the desert, he bragged. Tortoise looked patiently up at him with her old, old eyes. Let's race, she said. Which one are you more like? Do you want to go fast like the Jackrabbit or slow like the tortoise? Now the other desert animals gathered around. I'm sure to win, said Jackrabbit. Prove it, said Tortoise. So they agreed to race. I like the, the rattlesnake lady with her eyelashes and the bonnet. She's my favorite one. I'll mark the course, squawked Roadrunner, and off he ran over the rocky hill across the dusty flat place, under the mesquite trees to the water hole. I'll draw the starting line, hissed Rattlesnake, and she slithered across the sand. There she is with her bonnet on. <laughs> I want a rattlesnake in a bonnet. Tortoise and Jackrabbit took their places side by side. I'll watch from above, called Buzzard high in the sky, while Eagle floated silent as a cloud. Eyeing Jackrabbit hungrily, Coyote volunteered to start the race. One, two, three, oh! Jackrabbit bolted away. Long, low, leap, ho, he sang, and over the rocky hill he soared in less than no time. Tortoise moved her scaly toes up the slope. Scritch, scratch, lump, thump, she went. Scorpion peeked out from beneath a big rock. Tortoise inched past a blooming prickly pear of cactus, and she trudged around a giant saguaro. High up its trunk, inside a dark hole, elf owl opened one sleepy eye. Tortoise rustled through desert dandelions and golden poppies, purple sand verbena, and creamy butterfly lilies. Although she loved flowers, she did not stop. Don't step on us, cried the ants, scattering. I won't, said 
sighed Tortoise in her dry little voice as she lumped and bumped along. Uh-oh, what is he doing? He has his teddy bear. Meanwhile, Jack Rabbit came to the dusty flat place. Long lonely po, he said, and skipped across. By now, he'd left Tortoise far behind. Under the mesquite trees, he saw a patch of tender, sweet, delicious grass, and he stopped to nibble it. By the time he had eaten his fill, he felt so drowsy that he lay down in the shade and fell fast asleep. Tortoise plodded down the hill. Scritch, scratch, lump, thump. She was tired and hot, but Tarantula waved his eight furry arms to cheer her onward. Look, there's Tarantula. I like Tarantula. At last, she too came to the dusty flat place. Help! A terrible fast monster with round black rubber feet. It tried to crush her flat. There was a roar, a smell of burning oil, and a cloud of dust. Uh-oh. When the dust settled, Tortoise crept out of her shell. Whew, she said, and she continued slowly and steadily on her way. She passed Jackrabbit, still snoozing under the mesquite trees. Suddenly he woke up. He saw all the other animals gathered at the water hole. The quails had even brought their children like little brown eggs on legs and tortoise had almost reached the finish line. Jackrabbit flew past light-footed deer, somersaulted over stinky skunk, left Gila monster in the dust and never even noticed shy kangaroo rat. He hightailed it faster than ever, past hairy pig-like javelina, and then whoops, he crashed right into sly coyote and skedaddled, but long, low leap. Oh no! Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna win? The suspense is killing me. Tortoise scritch scratched across the line first. The desert animals cheered. Thank you, my friends, said Tortoise. Havelina handed the winner a beautiful spring bouquet. Look, there's her bouquet. What do you think she's going to do with her bouquet? Did you guys see what our tortoises do with flowers? Let's see if she does the same thing. And slowly, happily, tortoise ate it. Yep, she likes flowers, just like our tortoises do. So I'm gonna read a note on the story, because I think this is important. The tortoise wins the race in this fable, but real desert tortoises are in trouble. These ancient flower-eating reptiles face two main threats. First, a disease spread among wild tortoises by ones that used to be pets. And second, the destruction of tortoise habitat in various ways by human beings. Jackrabbits, which aren't actually rabbits, but members of the hare family, are less endangered than tortoises, yet jackrabbits also need open space in order to survive. The wild desert is a precious place if it is preserved for future generations of tortoises, jackrabbits, and people, we will all be winners. All right, it is time for our craft. And this is my little pipe cleaner tortoise. Um, this one, I just kind of used all the different colors that we had, but for our main tortoise, um, I'm going to use some more tortoise accurate colors. What I have is five whole pipe cleaners, and then I took two 
pipe cleaners and I cut those in half. And then I took four pipe cleaners and I cut those in quarters. So there are 16 quarters, four halves and five whole. And I also, for the eyes, so you can see my tortoise has some little <laughs> eyes there. Um, I had some really tiny brads left over from another craft, um, but you could glue some Google eyes on there. You could draw some eyes on there. So you have lots of different options. I just chose to use the brads because that was what I had lying around. All right, so to get started, I'm going to move my small ones out of the way and I'm gonna take these and lay them. My last tortoise, these weren't very even. So I have learned that they need to be pretty even. So I just kind of put them in like a star shape here, just like that. And I'm just pinching them right now. And then I'm gonna take one of my longer ones and I'm gonna lay it on top so that it is about the same length as my other one, like that. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wrap it all the way around to hold it, these in place. So I just looped it around and right now it looks like that. And then you can see that this end is shorter and that end is longer. I'm gonna take the long end and I'm gonna start to weave it under and over these small pieces. So I go under and then over and then under and over and under, over. So just making a pattern just like that. I'm gonna keep doing that pattern all the way until I come to the end of my pipe cleaner. And then once I got just a little tail left on my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna bend it just like that. And then I'm gonna take my next long pipe cleaner and I'm gonna put the seam little bend in that one and then take them and loop them together and pinch it down so that you have more long pipe cleaner. And then I'm just gonna keep going with the under and over. So I've added a couple more pipe cleaners and I'm gonna start to kind of bend it down here and I'm gonna add my fifth pipe cleaner. Make my little shapes to stick them together. And then my last set of weaving here and just under and over and under and over forever and ever and ever here. All right, and once you reach your last little nub, then you just kind of bend it down and then you can start to see my tortoise shape. And then what I'm gonna do is I have um, wire clip cutters, but honestly scissors work if you don't, if they're not your mom's nice fabric scissors. Um, so I'm gonna cut these until they are pretty short, maybe like two centimeters or so. I have cut all of those and what I'm gonna do is I am just going to fold them in half in toward the center and I'm just gonna fold them all the way around. Until it looks like that. So that's the underside of your tortoise's shell and this is the top 
of his shelf. And let's make that a little bit. There we go. All right, now we're gonna make the arms and the head. So now we are going to make our tortoise's head. So these are the quarter length pieces and I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I'm just kind of going to bundle them up and then fold them in half, just like that. And then I'm gonna take one piece and I'm gonna wrap it around to just kind of hold them all together. All right, so your head should look like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find one of the loops on your tortoise that where you folded it and you have a little bit of space, see that? So then I'm going to take my tortoise's head and fit it through that space, just like that. And then I'm gonna take these pieces that are the, the ends of my small pipe cleaner and I'm gonna fold them up to hold the head steady. So I just take them and fold them around. Just like that. All right, and there we have our tortoise's head. And then for the legs, you're gonna take two of your pieces and kind of nestle them in together and fold them in half so they look like that. And then you're gonna take another loop section of your tortoise body and stick them through like that. And then you're gonna fold them and just wrap them around like that. And then fold the legs down. That's all four legs on my little tortoise here. And you can see that they are bent from the underneath. And I think that since we've got a few extra pieces, I might use one of these little short ends and give my tortoise a tail. Why not, huh? So same as the legs, just Stick it through, bend it, give it a little tiny pointy tail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my tortoise, does he stand up? He does stand up. And then our last little piece, I'm gonna give my tortoise some eyes. And again, you can use whatever you want for eyes. Um, I just had these little brads laying around, so this is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's see if I can find two that match. And you're just gonna go to that little top section on the pipe cleaner and stick them between two of the pipe cleaners, just like that. And now your tortoise has some eyes. <laughs> All right, so he's not the best tortoise, but I still like him. And I bet that if you have some bright colored pipe cleaners, you could probably make some flowers for your tortoise too. Um, say bye tortoise. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are on our Facebook page, please like, and share. Um, if you're on our Instagram, like and share also. And if you are watching this on our YouTube page, please like, share, and subscribe. We will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.